during his time as general manager here with the Boston Red Sox, Theo Epstein has been very good at finding diamonds in the rough. Starting 03 with David Ortiz, you got Bill Miller, you got Mark Bellhorn, Kevin Millar. Is Jeremy Hermita that type of player? I talked to Theo Epstein. One thing that was very intriguing about Hermita was his age. A 26 year old, the potential is there. When you look at his career, he dominated amateur baseball, he dominated the minor leagues, and quite possibly was rushed to the big leagues by the Florida Marlins. Later on in the day, I talked to Jeremy Hermita about his days in Florida. Jeremy, first round pick, 11th overall in 2002 by the Florida Marlins. You go into the minor league system, you have a couple of great years. Next thing you know, you find yourself in the big leagues. Looking back in that whole process, do you think maybe you were rushed somewhat? Uh, you know, it's hard to say. You look back at it, and, and from scuffling a little bit at the beginning when I first got to the big leagues, I think it would be easy to say that. But uh, you know, at the time, I felt like I was ready, and they felt like I was ready. And I uh, battled a couple of injuries my first year. But uh, you know, second year, I ended up having a real good second year. So I felt like I was ready, and uh, I'm not sure what happened the past couple of years. Just the, the pieces kind of weren't there for me uh, at times. I felt like I was very inconsistent in doing certain things. And, and uh, that's one thing that I lacked a little bit was a consistency. I think that's something that from the guys that are on this team and, and the, the quality of the staff here, I'll be able to pick that up. Well, you talk about that one big year, and that's the thing that really jumps out at you. That second half of 2007, you know, when you, when you look back at what you did there and compared to the last couple of years, what, what might have been the difference? You know what? I've, I've sat back and tried to piece that together a lot. <laughs> I've asked myself that question quite a bit. It was just one of those things where you're just in a groove, you know. It, it was... I feel like every ball I was on, you know, I wasn't getting fooled a whole lot and just squaring up balls left and right. And, uh, you know, I, I was keeping it very simple. I think sometimes when you struggle, it's tough to do that. And uh, that's one of the things hopefully I'm going to get back to. And I've, I've had periods of it where I've gone back to it and kept it simple. But it's just been a tough thing for me to repeat over and over. Well, you've been in one organization, you know, in your short professional career, coming over here to Boston. What are the, some of the things that maybe you're hoping for that's maybe a little bit different than maybe what you experienced in Florida? I can already tell it's different over here. This is a uh, first-class organization, and, and the guys treat you well. And, and uh, you know, the guys we have in that clubhouse are, are you know, I'm excited just to be on the same team as those guys and play with them. You know, you, you see those guys as the guys you grew up watching, and, and uh, you know, it, it's an honor to be in the clubhouse with those guys. So I'm looking forward to, to picking those guys a little bit, picking Veritech and the guys that have been around and, you know, talking to veteran guys. You know, how, how, do you, how would you pitch me? How do you do certain things like that? And, and just learning from them, you know, learning from Uke and, and uh, Petey. Those guys that, that have, uh, have kind of mastered what they do as far as you know being patient and, and being aggressive at the same time. So I think it's going to be a great thing for me. How important is it for you maybe to sit down with Dave Maggot and kind of get on that same page, let him know the ins and outs of you here early in camp? I mean, is that important for you as a hitter? Very important. You know, we actually started that some in the off season. I talked to him a couple times on the phone in the off season, and we went through and, and I kind of gave him the things that make me click. And, and when I'm going bad, this is this is what I look to, and this is what I go for. So we, we've we've already messed a little bit with that. You know, he's not a guy that, that tries to tinker with you too much right off the bat. But I'm definitely looking forward to working with him. You know, he had a great career, and, and uh, hear nothing but the best about him as far as a hitting coach. Now I got to ask you, people up here in Boston, we kind of worry about the fish that get away sometimes. And Hanley Maris, I think, is one guy that they talk about a lot. You got to play with him. What's your impressions of him watching him play each and every day? He's an unbelievable talent. He really is. I know I haven't quite played against the guys in the American League and, and seen the guys on a regular basis, but you know, I'd put him up against a lot of guys in, in baseball as, as far as one of the better guys out there. But uh, you know, it's it's tough to know when you let him go away. You know, he, he didn't he didn't quite have the track record before that until he yeah. got to the big leagues. And, and when he was over there, I've been with him since day one when he first got traded over there. And it's almost like he just flipped a switch. And, and uh, you know, day in and day out, he's definitely fun to watch. And, and he he brings all aspects to the game. You know, stealing 40 bags. What is it? A couple of years ago, hitting 330 last year. And, and he's 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 got. Pretty pretty good at all, all facets of the game. There's some speculation that maybe his days at shortstop are numbered. Do you ever see him moving to the outfield, or is this guy a shortstop for life? You know what, for now, I, I'd see him as a shortstop. I think he took a lot of pride in his defense last year. He's always been able to hit since he's been to the big leagues, but, but he his knock was that he was a little bit a little bit off in the infield, and I, I think he took it personally, and, and he made tremendous strides defensively last year because I think a lot of people start asking about moving to the outfield. I think, like I said, I think he took it personally. So uh, he, he made some big strides, and uh, as of now, I see him as a shortstop. He can play over there. All right, Jeremy, thanks a lot. Appreciate it, and good luck this spring. Right. Thank you. Appreciate it.